thank you to supporters on Patreon for making videos like this possible. If you're coming from the previous video, skip to 432. For the rest of you that had this randomly recommended, let's get started. Let's say you're on a boat moving away from the shoreline perpendicular to it, and after one kilometer a very thick fog rolls in making it so you can't see anything. And let's just say you become disoriented or something happens where you don't remember the direction of the shore. All you know is that you're one kilometer away from it. The question is, what's the most efficient way to guaranteed get back to the shore? And by most efficient, I mean the smallest worst case scenario. So whatever method you come up with, find the maximum distance you could drive using it, if very unlucky, and that number should be a minimum. Oh, and this ocean is in ideal math land, so you can determine exactly how far you travel when you do. If you want to turn a certain angle, you can do so exactly. And we'll say you have an anchor and long rope, so if you want to move in a perfect circle about some center, then you can do so. Pause the video if you want to think about it, and for the few who do, see if you come up with this. First drive one kilometer in whatever direction that you think the shore is. It's possible you hit it, but very unlikely. Then move in a perfect circle in whatever direction around that center point, and you are guaranteed to eventually hit the shore. The worst case scenario here is if we go back to our starting location, you move one kilometer at an infinitely small angle above the horizontal here, barely miss the shore, and move in an entire circle until you hit it. In this case, you drove one kilometer, the radius, plus two pi, essentially the full circumference. Now, this is the method most people commented on Twitter when I posted this question, but this is not the best we can do. We can do something else where the worst case scenario is less than one plus two pi. To show this, I gotta bring the boat closer to the shore. And to summarize the method, we're simply going to drive further in the beginning. I'll say 1.5 kilometers for now, then move along a circle with that longer distance as the radius. What you're seeing here is the worst case scenario, by the way, at least for 1.5 kilometers as that starting distance. Driving that distance in any other direction and then doing a circle will get you to the shore sooner. So whether it's 1.5 kilometers or 2 or 1.4 or whatever, all these circular paths have a larger radius and a longer initial straight line drive than before. But we don't have to drive in a complete circle with this method, only part of one. So the question is, is there some value of d, we'll say, where the worst case scenario path has a length that is less than 1 plus 2 pi? Well, obviously the answer is yes, which is easy to see graphically. The total distance traveled here will simply be d plus the arc, and that arc will have a length of r times theta, where the radius is also d. Then theta is that full angle between the first dash line and this other one I'll add in showing where we'd meet the shore. One of those inner angles would have a value of cosine inverse of 1 over d. So this would be the equation for the total distance traveled in regards to the worst case scenario for any value d. This part here is just r times theta, or 2 pi, the full circle, minus those inner angles. Now if we graph this equation, we get this here. Again, the y-axis is the distance for the worst case scenario path, while the x-axis is d, the length of that first straight line drive. You'll see here at d equals 1, or d equals 1.183 kilometers, the worst case path is 1 plus 2 pi. But anything in between is shorter. And the absolute minimum lies here at 1.04,6.995. So we can drive anywhere between 1 and 1.183 kilometers at first, and then in a circle, and do better than the previous method. But 1.04 kilometers is the actual minimum where you would drive guaranteed 6.995 kilometers or less. And compared to the 1 plus 2 pi, or roughly 7.28 kilometers, you're saving just over a quarter of a kilometer in the worst case scenario. So there you go, that's the solution. But I have some bad news. I was so surprised when I read this, but amazingly, we can do better. Yeah, there's an even more efficient method, but this one's definitely the weirdest, and it's kind of a combination of the last two. Pause the video if you wanna think about this, good luck, but I'm just gonna to get to it. This is a four step method, and the first will seem odd. What we're gonna do is pick a direction that we think the shore is, and then turn some angle theta, which must be less than 90 degrees, 
and drive a distance of the square root of one plus tangent squared theta. Okay, let me explain. First off, the goal is to find the optimal value of theta. Currently, it's just arbitrary. Now, I could have instead just said, drive some distance d in whatever direction as this first step, just like before. It doesn't really matter, because I mean, the theta we pick dictates that distance anyway. But the thing is, before it was easier to make an equation as a function of d, here it will actually be easier to make it as a function of that angle. Also, it doesn't matter which way we think the shore is, because we have no idea. What I'm showing here, where we happen to predict correctly and then turn that angle, is going to be the worst case scenario where we, again, barely miss the shore. Now, back to the method. What driving this distance does is create a right triangle with what we think is the shore. The base of that triangle is one kilometer, which we knew, thus the height is simply tan theta, and using the Pythagorean theorem, you can see where that hypotenuse value comes from. Now, the second step is to rotate the boat such that we make an angle of 90 minus theta with the line segment we just moved along and drive a distance of tan theta. Now, these animations weren't totally done to scale, but you'll notice if I connect the starting point to this ending one, then these two triangles are congruent. They both have a length of tan theta, that hypotenuse value, and this angle of 90 minus theta. So we know this distance here must be one, which leads us to the third step of driving along a circular path of radius one until we get to the opposite side of that original horizontal. And lastly, the fourth step is to drive in a straight line path tangent to that circle until you hit the shore. So in total, we've got that first path of root one plus tan squared, We've got the arc, which will be r, or 1, times 2 pi minus 4 theta. This entire angle here is 4 theta, so 2 pi minus that corresponds to the angle of the arc. And then we've got two paths of length tan theta. Plotting this equation gives us this graph here, and the minimum appears at 36.375 degrees, comma 6.459 kilometers. So if you do exactly what we just went over, but make that initial angle 36.375 degrees, you will drive no more than 6.459 kilometers, which is over half a kilometer improvement from the last method. And those are the three solutions from the book I got this from, which is linked below. But guess what? We can do better. I'm sorry, I thought we'd be done, but there's a very simple improvement we can still make, which was caught by just a few subscribers in the previous video. It wasn't just one person, but I want to acknowledge user LockRay for phrasing the entire method very simply. The idea is basically the same as what we just saw. You do the same things, but now you only move along the arc until you're facing what you think is the shore, and then just move straight from there. There's actually no reason to follow the circular path after that. And this goes for every method we've seen so far. Now, you wouldn't know if you're facing the shore or not, but after traveling this entire arc and not hitting it, you know you're somewhere in that last quarter arc, and a straight line drive from any point there is simply faster. The worst case would be you're here, meaning you have a kilometer to go, which is why I showed that path. The new theta that optimizes this is 30 degrees, meaning the arc would be 210 degrees, and putting all the lengths together, you'd drive no more than 6.397 kilometers. Saves you just a little bit over the previous method. And at the time of publishing this, I haven't seen anything more efficient, but there definitely could be. Thanks again to my supporters on Patreon for helping with videos like these. Social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.